But welcome back to the Dad Cave channel, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how I took this old window and turned it into the shelf you see behind me. So stick around and check it out. To start this project, I'm going to give the window a light sanding and tape off the glass to get it ready for primer and paint. To attach the shelf to the window, I will be cutting the 1x2 cleat from a piece of scrap 2x4 that I had laying around the shop. I'll be countersinking all of the screws so that I can fill the screw holes with wood putty and hide the screws so you won't see them in the finished product. For the sides of the shelf, I'm going to use some 1x6 pieces of pine that I had left over in the shop. That's one of the things that I'm really liking about this project is I didn't have to go out and purchase any lumber. I'm just using what I had on hand already. I'll be using a combination of glue, wood screws, and nails to attach the shelf onto the cleat. So this is a good opportunity to talk about other ways you can help support my channel aside from whacking that like button. In the description of my videos you'll find links to the products that I use, links to my merchandise store, and also a link to buy me a beer. So be sure to check those out. And by the way, the links for Amazon, if anybody does go in and purchase the items that I use, I do get a small commission to help support the channel. So anything that you can do to help support me, I greatly appreciate it. So like I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm going to go ahead, fill the holes with wood putty, sand it, smooth it out, and then finish painting this window. To hang the window, I'm going to be using this metal French cleat hanger that I got on Amazon. It's easy to use, it holds up to 200 pounds, and it's going to be more than enough to hang this window on the wall. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description below for that. And also, the plants that you saw me put on the shelf, I'll leave a link to those as well. You can purchase those on Amazon.
All right, so that's all for this video. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video.